Yes, it's that favorite time of the day once again. Welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Tuesday, the 23rd of August 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Here we go. Starting off with a new picture here today, because this is what Bitcoin is. In comparison to what we use at the moment, which is the World Wide Web, which is made up of a network of corporations, Bitcoin is a network of value. So rather than sucking all the data that you produce off you and then selling it onto guerrilla marketers and making money that way, now we'll be simply paying for the use of those services ourselves and we own the data we create, which means if we want to, we can then sell that data because we own that data because we've not uploaded it onto a corporate server. So what this basically means is that all the giant corporations in the tech industry in the future will be porting all of those services over onto the Bitcoin network because the Bitcoin network is the world's first ever digital commodity network. And a digital commodity network can only be created with a fixed supply, a lock protocol, infinite scale, um, a chain, uh, economic competition and a chain of digital signatures for common accountability. Right, let's get on with the figures. Here we go. Let's have a look at this then. Right, ooh, we have got CoreCoin BTC Segwit Protocol currently at $21,386. Ooh, that's going to hurt because it's got an economic fundamental value of precisely zero. That's got a long way to fall. We've got Bcrash, 132. What a joke. Then we've got Fisher Price Cash. Who cares? And then we've got Bitcoin. The original protocol goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on Earth. And as we can see here, the protocol was changed on the 24th of August 2017 uh, when the uh, Blockstream developers implemented SegWit, which segregated the digital signatures from the transaction data, turning BTC from a commodity into a security and then taking all of its economic fundamental value away. The original protocol just simply carried on with a new ticker symbol BCH, but then Roger Ver and his crony mates did the same thing, but they started deleting transaction data, turning that again from a commodity into a security and taking all of its economic economic value away. Well done, boys. So now the original protocol, the only chain of signatures that goes right the way back to the Genesis block, now has the ticker symbol BSV. It has, it is, as it always was, Bitcoin right from the beginning. Oh, yes, indeed. Right. Let's have a look at this then. So the most valuable commodity on earth, yours today for just $56. <laughs> Amazing. We've got hash rate 0.15%. Ah, so uh, so look at the, the hash rate actually on BSV is remaining steady. That maybe just means more hash rate is being probably put onto BTC. Who knows? But that's thoroughly misguided. Oh dear, that's really going to hurt. So we've got oh, network nodes are going up though. That's normally around 0.42. Network nodes 0.57. Uh, we'll take that. Transactions, look at this. We are climbing. This was 89, then it was 90, then it's 91, 92. Now it's 93.6% of the overall transactions on the entire Bitcoin network on the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin, which is BSV. And then we've got 98.86% of the block size, which is the data flowing up to the network. Remember, these are data management networks. That's it. The data is uploaded by the transactions. The transactions are processed by the nodes that create blocks and supply the hash rate. The hash rate is attracted to the value, which is meant to be representative of the price. But the price is currently speculative because nobody has a clue what Bitcoin really is. But when education catches up with speculation, oh, you can see what's going to happen because all of this is going to come over to where the data is. Absolutely beautiful. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. Just look at the figures yourself so long as you can count. In fact, you don't even have to count. You just got to look at the colors here. <laughs> All right, let's have a look at these blocks. Oh, look at these blocks looking juicy. We've got a 3.5 gigabyte block in this uh, column of 30. Look at these blocks coming through, 106, 40, 49, 172. And these are all megabytes, 113, 125, 176. Oh, this is, look at that, 399. Beautiful, 
beautiful. Whereas Corecoin BTC, one megabyte, well done. B Crash haven't even got any blocks over a megabyte. And uh, Fish Price Cash still struggling to get all their blocks over a kilobyte, let alone anywhere near a megabyte. <laughs> Honestly, when you understand what you're looking at here, there is literally no comparison. It's absolutely hilarious. Uh, but uh, Unknown Miner and Tau look as though they're having a belter in the last uh, 20 blocks or so. Very good. Hash rate. Remember, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Remember, if something is useless, it is worthless. It's as simple as that. Oh, look at this. So it looks like the hash rate is tailed off. It will be interesting to see what the profitability is like. Um, probably because the amount of data coming through. Wow. Looking forward to seeing the uh, pie charts at the bottom here. Uh, proof of work by network. Again, it's all coming over to Bitcoin, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin because it's the only protocol with any, com with any commodity economic value. Uh, it's currently 3,824 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin. Oh, it's currently 5.1% more profitable to mine on SV. So it looks like a load of hash rate might have jumped off of it somewhere to make it more profitable. Interesting. We'll have a look at that in just a second. Daily average Bitcoin block size by network. Look at that. Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. Daily Bitcoin transactions by network. Yep, still on its way up. Transactions per block by network starting to smash it. Fees USD, look at that right the way down there. So the, the system is still economical, even with transaction fees being as low as they are. Absolutely beautiful. And again, fees Satoshi's right down here. Honestly, these other networks do not stand a chance. Not a chance. Uh, daily Bitcoin fee to block award ratio. So again, the red line that we're looking at there is going to be representative of this solid blue line here. As the block award continues to get cut in half every 210,000 blocks, the block fee will eventually surpass the block reward, and then we have an economically self-sustaining system, which is what we are gunning for. Oh, yeah. Right, let's have a look at uh, daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. Where are we now? Haven't seen this for a few days. Come on, come on, look at that. Uh, 5.17 terabytes. 5, 5.1 terabytes. Absolutely massive. Honestly, it's hilarious. Absolutely hilarious when you understand what you're looking at there. Uh, so this is global hash rate seven days. Uh, let's see what we got on there. Global hash rate 24 hours. Uh, core coin hash rate. Oh, look at that. So other miners is not even bothering mining BTC anymore. That means that other miners have got a huge amount of hash rate that they can put towards the network as and when they need to. Oh my goodness me. My goodness. That would that would absolutely decimate the profitability on BTC. Miners will be flooding away from the chain because it's a load of crap anyway and doesn't do anything. It's ridiculous. B crash, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so other miners are now squeezing, just squeezing these shitcoin enterprises off the chain because not only is it economically worthless, it is also more profitable to mine on BTC almost always, almost always. So as they're squeezing and squeezing and squealing, squeezing, there are less and less miners mining it, which means the network becomes less and less secure. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Nobody talking about a 51% on Bitcoin Cash, are they? Because a 51% attack doesn't exist. You're either mining the protocol or you're not. And this protocol has got no economic value whatsoever. The only person who's got any incentive to mine this is the original creator of Bitcoin because he wants to get rid of all these shit coins because they are bastardizations of his original creation that is the genuine Bitcoin. And remember, there are, uh, this is happening to Bitcoin Cash. This will happen to BTC, but a lot quicker. A lot quicker. Oh my, because the miners follow profit. Fisher Price Cash, what a joke. Again, Hathor just keeping profitability at bay. And here we go. This is Bitcoin. Well, SBI Crypto with 45.1% of the hash rate. And remember, Tau are macking it hard. This is the 100% of Tau's hash rate on there, whereas SBI Crypto are still tra or are still hash rate banking because they're still mining on BTC. So look at that. They are, they are wanting, they are wanting 
the genuine Bitcoin because they know of the value that it's got. Potential value is enormous, absolutely enormous. And uh, the reason we're keeping the profitability at bay is because we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain. And the reason we don't want any shitcoin enterprises on the chain is because the only thing they understand is dollar worshipping, which leads on to price manipulation, which we will look at now in the short positions. Here we go. Where are we now? So short position started out at 89.64. This is um, uh, two months ago. Where are we now? Oh, back up to 92.3. Because the uh, price went down. Honestly, what a joke. The the original protocol and these dirty traders who just simply follow the ticker symbols and the price, you know, being pumped by Tether, are giving it a short ratio of 92.3. What a... They are going to get burnt big time. Big time. But uh, nice, nice movement in the price there. Look at that. So this is a trading pump. Traders put the price up, whack it back down again. You know, but again, it's it's those who sell. It's those who sell that lose out. You know, and those who are trying to time the market, gambling. Oh dear, oh dear. Let's have a look at CoolCoin BTC. Short ratio 1.7. Where are we now? Oh, short ratio has gone up to 3.1. I was not expecting that. Look at the short ratio. (coughs) 1.8. Now gone up to, I don't think I've ever seen it this high. 3.1% short ratio on BTC. Oh, dirty traders. They have no allegiance to anything. All they do is chase profit. Look at that fascinating stuff. You can see in the figures, the narrative is starting to crumble. Amazing. I've never seen a short ratio of three point or of above above three percent on core coin. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating stuff. And uh, look at this. Rightly so. It should have a, uh, the short position should be increasing because it's economically worthless. Look at this. So this is the transactions on the 18,000 plus shit coins on the market. We've got Bitcoin with 51, uh, 59.1 with uh, 3.6 million transactions over the last 24 hours. Core coin BTC, which is 4.1%. Uh, Ethereum, 17.6. XRP, 16.4. But look at this. Bitcoin absolutely smashing them out the water. Remember, if something is useless, it is worthless. If it is useful, it is valuable because it's useful. I don't know how I don't know how I can say it more simpler than that. <laughs> right here we go. So for any newbies tuning in for the first time, these are the mining operations. These are the mining operations that supply the hash rate and produce blocks. These are the nodes. And this, these are the, but this is the backbone to the new global financial system, the world's first ever commercial internet. It blows my mind every time. Beautiful, beautiful. Chainlytics, look at that. They've uh, they've delisted BSV because they don't want it uh, embarrassing all these dirty shit coins that they've got listed here. What a joke! Uh, again, you know, the, the powers that be, you know. Ugh. Yeah, they will they will come a cropper. People will, re- will realize what they've done. And you can see how dirty all these shit coins are here on coin market cap. Look at this. Look at this. Coin carbon cap. Bitcoin we're now 10,623 transactions per megawatt hour in comparison to Bcrash with just 29. Honestly, 29 compared to 10,623. Uh, and that's the best they've got in second place. And then CoreCoin BTC SegWit protocol with just 1.7 transactions per megawatt hour. Honestly, what a joke. Dirty, dirty shitcoin is all I can say to that. Scaling test network then. So we've had a 3.6 gigabyte block mined on the main net in the last 24 hours. Yep, we saw that. Beautiful. Here we go. Love this one. Uh, so uh, current range we want seven days. That'll do nicely. Yes. Oh, 24 hours even. Come on, come on. Uh, so yeah, we have had, let's have a look at data size. So we've had uh, 8.9 gigabytes on uh, Metro ID. That's in uh, 24 hours and transactions. We've had 1.6 million transactions from Run Protocol. Loving that, but let's have a look at transactions. So we'll do this over uh, 24 hours. Yes, indeed, thank you very much. That's more like it. Crypto fights with 1.6 million transactions. In a 24-hour period, that's huge. My two cents was 520,000. Relasia, 11,000. DXS, so DXS and TDXP, one and the same. 4,719. Very good. Very good. Yeah, beautiful. Twitch app on there. 
2,720 transactions. Tonic Power, 117. Scent B, 48. Ooh, thought they would have a bit more than that anyway, you know. But again, 24 hour periods. There's going to be loads more coming. Loads more coming. Trends.cash, apps ranking by performed actions. Yeah, run and crypto fights first and second. My two cents in third, followed by Meta in fourth. Uh, apps ranking by money spent. TDXP and DXS, one and the same. Um, so that's Relay X in second. Wow, very good. Uh, really X in fourth as well. Twitch in fifth. And uh, a wee bot. Oh, interesting. That's up ranking my money spent. Uh, crypto quant. Let's have a quick look at this then. Yeah, exchanges cashing out even more. See, look at that. They were cashing out as the price was going up. They were just like, yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, and they're still cashing out The you know, because the price is higher back there than it was over here. Amazing to see. What's on chain? Good question. Hash rate, 454 petashes per second on Bitcoin. We've currently got 369,000 transactions in the memory pool. Uh, usage currently totaling 3.01 gigabytes. Yeah, we've had uh, 3.7 million transactions uh, in the last 24 hours. Very good. Very good. Uh, Whale well, Wallet still got 903,000 BSV. This is the largest privately held wallet in Bitcoin history. Apps bigger than the Tulip Trust because the Tulip Trust is not privately owned. It is a, it is in a trust, whereas this is a private wallet. My goodness me, absolutely enormous. Morning Run. So look at that. We've had 3,653,863 purchases of Bitcoin over the last 24 hours, according to the Morning Run. Very good. Let's have a look at live coin watch. Here we are. So we've currently got a market cap of one trillion dollars. Uh, cool coin BTC. Let's have a quick look at this. Oh, price dipping down over seven days, 24 hours. Upsy down. We've had a trade volume of 4.1. Market cap, 409 billion dollars. Um, who cares, really? Who cares? Uh, let's have a look at the stable coins then. So, oh, XRP and ADA dropped out. So that means we've got three stable coins in the top six coins by market cap. What an absolute joke that is. Utter shambles. Uh, Bitcoin up to number 48. Uh, it wasn't that long ago that it was in the uh, in the 60s and in 50s. Now it's 48. We'll take that. Beautiful. Uh, trade volume 3.3%. Price looking strong over 24 hours. Look at that. Yeah, look, it, let's, let's have a quick look. I do believe that looks like it is breaking away from CoreCoin BTC over 24 hours. Do my eyes deceive me? Let's have a quick look. 24 hours. Yeah, look at that. BSV trending upwards. The original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. We will take that. Look at this coin desk. Look at that. So this is um, BSV looking very healthy over uh, 24 hours. All right, let's have a quick look at uh, Core Coin then. In comparison, oh, oh more just uh, struggling, struggling to keep up with Bitcoin and Ethereum. I bet this looks almost identical. Similar similar price there. Um, top assets, well, top top shit coins, should we say? What a joke. Uh, crypto prices, there we go. Uh, XRP, honestly, what an absolute shambles. What an absolute shambles. So we've got this big mountain in the middle that goes up and down. Uh, yeah, Ethereum, big mountain in the middle going up and down. Core coin BTC, well, it's struggling. It's struggling. Wow, loving that. Loving that. Even if I do say so myself. Here we go. Now let's get back to Bitcoin. Come on. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful indeed. All right. Um, Coin Gecko, how are we feeling about it today? Feeling good? 88%. We will take that. The tether weather. Let's do some investigations. Uh, so the price in the red over 24 hours. In the red over uh, seven days as well. Ooh, had a sharp decline there. Um, on the 17th, so that was six days ago. Dropped off a cliff. 
Uh, right, let's have a look at market cap. So nothing happening over 24 hours. Oh, it, it, it heading back down over seven days. <sighs> Oof. Keep an eye on that bad boy. Uh, so this is a uh, Bitrex. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Price looking strong there. Good. Let's have a look at uh, Bitcoin versus. Look at that Bitcoin winning. Bitcoin winning. Look at that. They are struggling to uh, maintain BTC with BSV. They can't allow BSV to be seen to be doing better than BTC because traders have no loyalty to anyone. They will come flooding in when they see there is profit to be made for themselves. This is fascinating. This is literally David versus Goliath. BTC being Goliath. And we all know how that story ended. Oh, yes. Exciting stuff. Uh, BT, yeah, look at that. BTC USD struggling. Struggling without their tether printing. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, Coinbase, yeah, down 80% since it started. I wouldn't touch that with a barge pole. MicroStrategy speculators in the market, in the, in the market pumping and dumping it. Silverfish, oh, we've now had 6,382 views of Silverfish. Uh, remember all the sections of the movie high, um, outlined below so you can uh, watch that and uh, see what's going on in the world today. There we go. That is a 21 minute show. Been a great one today. Hope you enjoyed it. As ever, be aware, take care, stay safe out there, and we'll see you in the next one.